Alright, this video is on polar equations and polar graphs. So to begin with, we want to introduce a new coordinate system. It's called the polar coordinate system. Now, just like with a rectangular coordinate system, the polar coordinate system is going to have ordered pairs. The ordered pairs are going to be of the form r comma theta. All right, so for example, let's look at, say, this spot right here. See these concentric circles that are coming out? Those are like the grid lines on the rectangular coordinate system, the rectangular graph paper. All right, so this point right here would be from the pole, from the, from the origin here, you go out 1, 2, so r would be 2, and the angle would be, right up here, pi over 3. So that ordered pair is 2 comma pi over 3 for that spot right there. Everybody with me? Okay, so for, say, this one right here, that point right there, that would be the ordered pair 3, because you go out 1, 2, 3, and then the angle is 11 pi over 6. Everybody see that? That's not too bad, right? Plotting them. Now there is there is a catch, and that would be the following. Let's plot let's plot the ordered pair negative two comma pi over four. Alright, so I've changed things up a little bit. So if you go out to the angle of pi over four, okay, which would be right here, right? Well there's this I mean this line goes all the way through the pole and comes out the other direction. And that's how you deal with when r is negative. Okay, so for example, negative 2 pi over 4, you come up here to pi over 4, and then you go backwards, 1, 2, and read that spot right there. That's the point negative 2 comma pi over 4. But notice it's also what? It's also 2 comma 5 pi over 4. Everybody see that? Because if you come at it this way, it's positive 2, and your angle is pi over 4 units right there. Hmm. All right, let's make things even muddier. So it's also 2 comma negative 3 pi over 4. Because you could do a negative angle, right? And this would be negative pi over 4, negative 2 pi over 4, negative 3 pi over 4, and you're at it at 2. So one point on the polar coordinate system can be represented by an infinite number of ordered pairs. So that would be something that's new from the rectangular coordinate system. All right, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll come back to... Um, graphing things here in just a minute. So let's make note that the polar coordinates r theta are related to the rectangular coordinates x, y in the following way. Well all that should look familiar, right? x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta, we've seen that several times. r squared equals x squared plus y squared, we've seen that several times. And the tangent of theta is y over x when x is not zero. So really we're just extending those ideas from before into this new coordinate system. So here's our first example. We want to be able to convert rectangular equations to polar equations and from polar equations back to rectangular equations. Right? Sometimes um, the, the mathematics is easier to work uh, if we're in one system as opposed to the other system. So just kind of a useful, useful thing to be able to do. So to convert to polar form, well, we know what x and y represent. So this would be 2 times r cosine theta minus r sine theta equals 5. Now, just like before with rectangular equations where we, we typically tried to write them as functions and have y as in terms of x, when we could, it's the same idea here. I'm going to encourage you to write r in terms of theta. Now what that means is isolate r. So to do that, we see this here, we take an r out, then divide both sides, and you get and that's the polar equation. All right. Let's look at another. Now let's convert to rectangular form. All right, so r equals 5. Well, we know that r squared has to equal 25, right? And we know that r squared is x squared plus y squared equals 25. Ah, that should look familiar. That's just the equation of a circle centered at the origin, right, in our rectangular coordinate system. So its corresponding equation in the polar world is r equals 5. And that, that's a lot simpler to look at and probably a lot simpler to do the calculus on well, when you move on to calculus. Okay, So anyway, r equals 5 would be the equation of a circle in the polar coordinate system. All right, so now let's look at r equals 2 cosine theta. Now, we can't just square both sides like we did up there because you'll have cosine squared and we, we typically don't want that. But we do like to have r cosine theta. 
right? Because that's x. So we could multiply both sides of this by r. And when you do that, you get r squared equals 2r cosine theta, when you multiply both sides by r. And then r squared is x squared plus y squared equals 2x. And this time, we have an ellipse, right? I mean, that goes to, if you want to recall how to do all the mathematics on it, and so I'll leave it for you guys to fill in the gaps. It goes to x minus 1 squared plus y squared is equal to 1. And that's the equation of ellipse centered at 1 comma 0. All right, so that's the idea on converting uh, rectangular equations into polar equations and polar equations into rectangular equations. All right, make sure you see the next video on graphing polar equations um, on a new coordinate system. All right, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.